What's up, guys? It's Bad Dog. Just a quick lunchtime video because I'm not, I don't have the time to go through all the things of editing and everything else. But, um, talks about, you know, the Giants going out and getting Mike Remmers from Minnesota uh, as a right tackle. And um, I don't really know what's going on with that situation right now, but I do believe that the New York Giants should definitely uh, take a look at this guy and bring him in here. I mean, the one, there's a, well, there's, I could go on and on about the draft. But the one thing, you know, because I'll be honest, the more and more I'm looking at the Daniel Jones thing, the more and more I'm, I'm getting over it and just, you know, accepting what, what we did there and um, hoping that this kid succeeds. Um, but, you know, I, I'll do another video on that stuff anyway. Uh, but the one thing that kind of was very surprising to me is that he didn't take an offensive tackle. They didn't take a right tackle in this draft because Dave Gettleman always talks about the hog mollies and he didn't go out and get one. You don't want a downdraft guy to be your starting right tackle. That's not going to happen. So I was shocked that we didn't get a Dillard or a Greg Little or a Cody Ford or a Juwan Taylor. I was very surprised he didn't go that route, especially considering Chad Wheeler was the 78th ranked tackle in all of football last year. 78th. That's horrible. You know, Mike Remmers outperformed Chad Wheeler by a landslide playing out of position last year. The other thing that astonished me when I read this was that Chad Wheeler was the worst lineman. Lineman! Not, not just tackle. The worst lineman in all of football in run blocking. We have Saquon Barkley, the best running back in the league. And you got the worst run blocking lineman as your starting right tackle. Something's got to be done about this, man. Got to bring in Mike Remmers. And Mike Remmers also played in the Minnesota under Pat Shermer in 2017. So obviously he's familiar with Shermer's system, and I think he could come in here immediately and make an impact. Now, obviously, there's an injury problem. We don't know what the injury is. But, hey, if all things go well, he came back into the Meadowlands for a second uh, a second visit uh, yesterday, I believe. And, again, I haven't heard anything about them signing him. But if all things check out, if this guy is healthy, if this guy can play, we got to bring him in here. We need a damn right tackle because no matter what the hell goes on, we're going to need to run the ball, but if it's if it's advanced age Eli, if it's 38-year-old Eli Manning starting, we need to protect Eli. Eli can't run. You know, he's a mobile, he's a, he's a stationary quarterback. He has been his whole career, and a lot of people will defend Eli and say, he's got a terrible offensive line, so why didn't we improve it? Now, the left side looks pretty good. We did overpay for Solder, I admit it, but he was the best left tackle in the market. You go out and get him. He and Hernandez formed a really good chemistry. At the end of the year, they started playing a lot better. We got Kevin Zeitler, the be one of the best right guards in the league. Now we need a partner to go with Zeitler over there. And why not bring in, you know, a, a veteran in Mike Remmers who, who played under Pat Shermer. And then your offensive line starts to look like something. So whether it's Eli Manning playing or if it's Daniel Jones. If, if somehow Daniel Jones plays this year, which I can't. <laughs> if the Giants are bad, there's no way Daniel Jones sits all year. They, it can't happen. He's got to play. But even though Daniel Jones is obviously more mobile, if you look at his tape, which is a big plus for the Giants, that he actually can run a little bit, you still don't want Daniel Jones to come in there and have to run for his life because our right tackle is getting beat constantly and he's putting pressure on a rookie quarterback. You don't want your rookie quarterback getting smashed in the mouth every time he drops back to pass. So it would help to build around a rookie quarterback as well. So I think Mike Grummers would be a good deal here. I think Mike Grummers, the Giants need to sign this guy and, and just we need to shore up that right tackle spot because Chad Wheeler ain't going to get it done. So I, what I got to say about that, I'll talk more about Daniel Jones because, like I said, my, I'm kind of changing my mind on this thing. I'm not going to say I agree with the pick, but I, I'm changing my mind. on. I'll do a video on it later or tomorrow. Uh, I just wanted to get this video out there. It's ironic I'm wearing a Knicks hat and a Yankees hoodie and uh, talking about the Giants. But, hey, I love my teams no matter what. So uh, that's all I got for tonight, of course, or today, rather, you know, tonight, Warriors, Rockets. I got to do that game. And I'll see you then. Bad dog and I'm gone. Peace.